Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. I'm going to be drawing a combi beach scene and at the moment I'm, I've drawn it, you can check out my other video on how to draw it. I'm outlining using a permanent marker. Now a permanent marker is great if you're going to be using watercolours because it won't smudge. Also with markers it's pretty good. So outlining as neatly as possible. Now I am going to get into some watercolour pencils. Now I'm using some Runzeal watercolours and I'm just shading in areas of the combi. I would use the watercolour pencils for the smaller areas and I would use the watercolour paints for the bigger spaces. I'm drawing my picture today on Montmartre watercolour paper so that um, it, the watercolour pencils and the watercolour paint work nicely on this paper. You could use cartridge if you have that at home but I wouldn't recommend using normal um, printer paper because it's a little bit thin, especially if you're going to be using water. Okay, I'm just, you can, the beauty about watercolour pencils is you can just draw them in normally and then afterwards you can add the water to make it, turn it into paint, which is amazing. And depending on the type of watercolour pencil you have, the colours will turn out awesome. Some, some are darker, some are lighter. Now you can see my little combi on the side there. And now I'm just using, this one's a Derwent ink tents and they're very good for bright colours. The paint that I'm using today is a Montmartre watercolour paints and they are good for a nice light colour. And you can see that the more water I put on, the lighter the colour. And you can paint nice and neatly around things with these. If A couple of tips though, if you put too much water on your brush, you need to wipe it off before you put it on to paint. Have a tissue or a cloth handy. Do not paint areas that are next to each other. Okay, that's why I've started the water up there away from the sand. Okay, because wet colors will bleed into each other and we don't want to do that. So leave some gaps. And you can see that the beauty about watercolor painting is you can blend nicely, especially if the colors are next to each other on the color wheel. I had some fun drawing this picture because of the scene that it is and it reminds me of the beach which I do enjoy going down to. For all you surfers out there, I hope you uh, like the little dolphin surfing. I was going to put a surfer on there but you, you might like to do that in your picture. And you can see I'm using some nice blues and greens for the water and I'm leaving the white wash of the top of the wave white but I'll add a few little, little areas on that later. Basically, the beauty about watercolours is we can layer it. When it's dry, we can go over it again. We can either go over it with some watercolour pencils over the top, or we can just go over it with some more paint. And we can add water to that and keep moving it around. All right. So there's just a few little tips for you in hoping that you have fun uh, colouring in your picture as well, just as much as I did. Thanks for watching. I hope you. Have a good time doing your own picture.
see I'm putting some finishing touches on. You can layer up this picture even more than I have. I've just shown you a basic how to colour this scene in. You could keep going and adding more layers to it and making it look even better and better and better. Thanks for joining me today drawing the Combi Beach scene. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Now remember, if you have liked the video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if, if you want to see more future content from me, click on that subscribe button. It makes my channel grow and I can bring you other videos. Now, if you see a community poll, make sure you vote for future. Thanks guys, keep drawing and I will see you next time. Bye for now.